really wasn't anything. Ooh. We have our first victim. Come here. Come here, Billy Bob Joe, whatever the fuck your name is. I've selected you for death. You're gonna die. You looked at me funny. Come here. Come on. Get over here, you arrogant little piece of shit. <laughs> what? I should fucking axe you in the throat just for having that voice. Clearly not all that great of an archer. Wouldn't last a day in the fucking Hunger Games. Jesus. Fucking Mike Tyson over here. Take out the axe. Maybe that'll, uh... Oh, that's a Jesus. Come here, you little slippery fucker. Give me back my arrow. Uh, I'll suck your dick. Don't kill me. <laughs> I, I promise I'll suck your dick, man. Not interested, bro. Not interested. I want your blood. I'll suck your dick. I want blood. And you're going to be the fucker to give it to me. You work out your death. Yeah! <laughs> Who the fuck is this chick? Run while you have the chance. Fuck off, Billy Bob. You're mine, bitch. What is going on, guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to H1Z1 Season 2, I guess we're gonna call this. I guess we can go ahead and do Season 2, even though Season 1 didn't fully wrap up. Uh, there's been some updates to the game, which uh, I'm going to go over with you as soon as I take out this wolf. This little greasy bastard right here. <clears throat> there we go. I got some, got some good stuff from this. Good stuff from this... Uh, this wolf. So, okay, so there's been quite a bit of updates uh, uh, since I've actually played this game, and uh, I gotta say, I'm I'm kind of digging it right now. I mean, I'm, I've been getting it back in the DayZ standalone a little bit here and there, which you guys are gonna see more videos of starting uh, next week. But uh, I've also been getting back into this game recently. I don't know, um, something kind of discouraged me from. Daisy mod for a few days, uh, and I wanted to try out some other games that I had in my, uh, my Steam account, so I figured, why the fuck not give H1Z1 a shot again, and so this is where we are. Um, <clears throat> as you guys can see, I'm not entirely a fresh spawn. I mean, I did start recording when I was a fresh spawn, but unfortunately it was nighttime, and I'm not exactly sure how you guys would feel about nighttime on H1Z1. I know it's a little bit brighter than Daisy Standalone is for the most part, but yeah, so <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and go over uh, some of the most recent updates, I guess. Um, so I've got my notes and I'm trying to play and keep track of, keep track of the notes at the same time. Um, so one of the most recent updates they came out with, I believe it was on July 7th, uh, they added in some some weather changes, uh, clouds and rains, uh, also fog, clouds and rains, heavy clouds and rain, uh, along with some fog and stuff like that. Uh, they fixed a bunch of stuff too. Um, uh, apparently there's a bear in the game now, which, uh, I have not seen a, no, wait, oh my god, I have seen a bear, holy fuck, you can tell it's been a while since I've actually played this game. Um, but apparently, like, the bear behavior has been tweaked a little bit more, um, there's different crates, uh, there's a, uh, just, just different shit. So, that's basically what I'm out to find right now. <clears throat> and also, another thing that I'm looking forward to is actually, uh, finding a gun and the proper ammunition that works along, uh, alongside with that gun. Um, so that I'm a... What the fuck is that noise? That sounds like there's a raccoon upstairs. Okay, I, I guess it was just a zombie or something, but it sounded really weird. Uh, also, I just really want to point out very quickly, there's a lot of weird bases that are just all over the fucking maps. Um, it, right over there, it looks like somebody's building a base. Uh, it, I don't know, it's just a 
big clusterfuck of all these wooden bases around. I'm not exactly sure uh, how the bases work yet. Um, I still haven't gotten that deep into uh, into this game to where I'm actually trying to build my own base now. But as you guys can see, I'm some kind of redneck trucker with a bow and arrow just going around searching through vans. And hopefully I'm going to end up coming across something fairly decent here shortly. Um, it would be nice to, to get a gun. I mean, you know, against fresh spawns, I mean, I can, I can, I mean, you, you don't really defend yourself against fresh spawns. Uh, more or less murder, uh, and, and, in cold blood, mind you, uh, just random fresh spawns. But I mean, I, I at least have gear to do that, but if I come across somebody with a, with an actual weapon, then I am fucked. And I'm, I'm, Hoping that I can at least throw this can of refried beans at somebody, but it's, I don't think it's going to let me. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, season one only lasted a few episodes, and I gotta admit, it, I don't know, like, H1Z1 just did not hit me the right way, uh, when it was first released, and I, and I bought it, and I played it for a while, and I was just like, yeah, this is a cool game to waste like an hour or two with while I'm waiting for other people to get online to play a different game. But at the same time, I want this to be a more immersive experience. Um, because I'm, I'm, at least I'm just going to throw out a wild guess out there that, that that's what the creators of the game wanted was an immersive experience. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I've, I've, I've found some ammunition, so if I come across one of these guns, I'm going to be set. Um, I'm not really looking for a 9mm, though. Check out this sweet triple monitor setup this guy had. Alright, so I'm just still running around, haven't really found too... Hmm. Okay, I take that back. I was actually about to say that I've been running around for about 20 minutes now, and I haven't found anything, but here we go. Just a random AR-15 in here, so that's something. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, I still haven't found any kind of ammunition for for this gun, so it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. I just keep finding random cans of food, which, I mean, I guess is good to an extent. I mean, I'm kind of limited on on space right now but i mean i yeah whatever um yeah i think brown pants and a blue shirt and this i don't know i i think i want to stick with the beanie for right now it makes them <laughs> it makes them look a bit more homeless and that's the kind of look that i want to go for with my character some antibiotics might as well use them for no particular reason. Um, <clears throat> also, it sounds like some of the uh, the steps are off, like the footsteps and stuff like that. But I mean, I don't know. Is, is this game still in alpha? I, I oh my god, it's it's awful. I'm making a video about a video game, and I don't know if it's in alpha. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's out of alpha by now, though, right? Right? It's got to be in beta at least, right? And the game can't be fucking finished, but I mean, it's not like, it's not awful. It's not awfully glitching all over the place like some games I know. <clears throat> I don't, uh, the loot is very, very weird. I mean, yeah, I, I am searching mostly residential, and from what I've heard, there's like military checkpoints and different shit like that that I could be checking out, but I'm not exactly... I don't have like a map handy right now because I've got my notes on one monitor and then obviously I'm going to be playing the game on the other monitor, so. But uh but yeah, I I'm really wanting to get back into this game. Uh I'm definitely going to give it my hardest try with season 2 here. And um you know, just just kind of go over as, as I'm kind of glitching right there. Uh, just kind of go over some of the uh, basic stuff. Uh, I found... Let's see. No, that's that's not the little thing. Okay. Well, there was like a sleeping, uh, a sleeping bag thing earlier that I could sleep in. And it would actually uh, regenerate all my, uh, like my health, my energy, stamina, and so on and so forth. Um, 
Ooh, there's a little bunny rabbit outside. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm terribly, I terribly get distracted with uh, little stupid shit that I see out in the world. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to really give it my all on Season 2. Um, I hope you guys are really looking forward to this. Uh, I know one of, the, uh, one of the guys that commented on one of my last videos, he was kind of psyched to see that I was bringing H1Z1 back. Um, and, you know, I, I hope that everyone watching this video obviously shares his enthusiasm. Um, I can't say that I'm enthusiastic or as enthusiastic about it um, as people that play this game on a regular basis. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to give it the old college try and I'm going to do my best to to enjoy myself. And I mean, right now I'm, I'm kind of enjoying myself because, I mean, one of the things... <laughs> oh man, I should put in some fucking stupid dance music right there. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, you know, there, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of people that play this game and enjoy it on a regular basis, and I just, I would like to become one of those people, because I mean, it's, it's not just the fact that I purchased this game to, to play it, but I mean, it's a game that I think has the potential. Like, the potential's there, it's just not... It just hasn't hit me yet, I guess. But anyways, that's gonna do it. That's pretty much just gonna wrap up, like, the very first episode for Season 2 of H1Z1. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little murder in the beginning. Um, I'll probably end up doing little intros like that, I guess, from time to time. Um... But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys thought about uh, the the the, vitter, the the video overall. I I combine words sometimes too, apparently. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you think about the video overall in the comment section down below. I know there wasn't really too much stuff going on in this video. It was just basically just a bunch of me rambling. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next one.